Hi guys, so today's video is going to be me skadooshing my closet and getting rid of a lot of stuff, hopefully. But today's video is going to be me basically revamping my closet and I titled it that because I'm not only going to be decluttering, I'm also very kindly forcing my dad to build a shelf in my closet and then I'm also going to be buying a few new pieces to have as like staple items in my closet and then I'm gonna do a haul about that. So it's like all things clothes. If you guys like clothes and decluttering, then this is, this is definitely the video for you. So is the microphone on. Okay, so with my closet, this is what it looks like on the inside right now. I, this is this is untouched. I didn't mess it up at all for the video. So inside my closet, it's definitely gotten way discombobulated, but this is how it used to go. It was dresses over here, sweaters, and then shirts and like long sleeves. But it's also summertime now, so I don't wear a lot of the things that are inside of here. So I want to put them into storage. I want to declutter. I want to just make my closet feel a lot more simple and a lot more efficient too, because I just feel like it could be a lot better. It could be a lot more organized. So then up here on this shelf, what I'm hoping is that my dad can build a second shelf. That way there'll be more storage and I can put some of my books up here because I have quite a few books that I don't know where to put because I don't have space for them. Also inside of this box is my memory. So it's like all scrapbooks and stuff like that and old pictures, but I want to go to Target and get a flat box I can put underneath my bed because that would free up a lot of space. This is filled with just books and then literally just random shirts and random things that I need to hang up. So down here is this random bucket. I had redid my room like so long ago. Actually, that wasn't that long ago, but like I redid my room and this was a random bucket that I threw a bunch of stuff in. I never went through it. I never changed it. I never fixed it. So now it's just been sitting here accumulating more random stuff. Some of it has clothes. I don't know, literally the random stuff it has a backpack in there. So then down here, I had all these shoes and they are definitely not organized. And there's a sweatshirt down there. A lot of those shoes I don't even wear, so I need to get rid of a lot of them. So I just feel like my closet's not that big already. Like it's a very average size closet. So I want to maximize the space as much as I can and make sure that it's all being put to good use. Literally, I like don't wear so many of those things and that's so bad. That is a waste of space. This is gonna be the first time to go. I love this dress, I think it's so pretty and I bought it thinking I was gonna wear it. And then I got home and tried it on and realized that I am very lacking in a certain area for this dress and it just doesn't fit properly on me. Up next is this tiny sweater from Brandy Melville. I just never wear this. It's not that I don't love the clothes, it's just that I, I feel like the clothes deserve better than what I've given them. And that someone else is gonna wear it more than I will, so. That's why I'm selling them and getting rid of. I'm realizing that my basketball career is probably not gonna happen. I bought this from Thrift Hood, but I never wore it. Like I feel like and that's almost like a testimony that like this isn't right for me. The things I love most hate me the most because I look fat in all my turtlenecks and mock necks, but I love the look of them, so. Bye bye Felicia. Okay, this is what I wore to BeautyCon, but I haven't worn it since. Is that a sign that I should get rid of it? Okay, I never really got the chance to wear this because I bought it when it started to warm up. And I got it on sale from this small company and I think I wore it once. I'm gonna keep it just because I might like it still next winter. Okay, this is my prom dress that I never actually got to wear to prom, but I'm planning on keeping this. If another formal dance happens and I get asked, I would still love to wear this dress because I didn't really get the opportunity to. So I'm gonna keep this. Okay guys, so then this is a golf sweater, size small. And I think when I bought it, it had tags attached. So I got it from like a, anyway, but I've worn this probably once or twice total. And I just feel like someone else could wear a lot more than I do. So I'm gonna sell this. <laughs> Boom, baby. Show me how you know that I'm gonna keep that. Okay, this makes me look like Steve from Blue's Clues. Okay, this was like a... Okay guys, so we've definitely... I don't know if we've necessarily made progress because my room is upside down. And then down here, we have galore of hangers. I wanna get like most of the decluttering done today and then we'll work on it for the next few days, so. Okay guys, so it's been a little while and if you're looking at my room from this point of view, it looks absolutely disastrous in that my closet literally threw up, but there's organization in this chaos. So over here on my bed, I have some Depop items. That's even more Depop. I feel like my phone's going off, but I like can't hear it. I don't know where my phone is. I haven't found it all day. 
Okay, but if you're looking at my room from this point of view, my closet is looking pretty snazzy, if I do say so myself. This is what we've got going right now. Honestly, this is what like the closet is gonna hopefully look like. So up here, I want my dad to build a second shelf. That way I can put my books up there and just have a little bit more storage and maximize the height of my closet. This is the clothes that are left over. Still have that entire dresser, don't worry. I'm not lacking in the clothing department still. But now I just have all my hoodies. I have a pair of pants, some sweatshirts, jean jackets, belts, more jackets. I have long sleeve, short sleeves. Oh wait, this is out of place. <laughs> I'm gonna move this right here. This camera is so heavy. Then I have my long sleeves, short sleeves, jumpsuits, and dresses. My Eagle costume is pretty much its own category. It's just so special. So from this shoe rack, I got rid of any shoes that I don't wear that often. And these are the ones that I actually do really like. So I kept these. I feel like it looks so much cleaner. And then I'm going to do my best to just keep this floor clean because I feel like it just helps my closet look so much more simple. So there we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Now it's time to attack this monster and get these Depop clothes into bags. So I already had my little sister Amanda go through all the clothes that she wanted and this is what was left over. So that's a Depop. Those are all of my shoes and kind of accessories that I need to Depop. Depop, Depop, and then this right here was just winter clothing that I needed to put downstairs in the basement for storage. Okay, so basically for those of you guys that don't know what Depop is, it doesn't sponsor anything. I just use it often and I don't know if like everyone knows about it, but it's basically a reselling app. Like you can just upload. It's almost like online thrifting in a sense, but you can just upload your old clothes and sell them. And it's a really nice way to make just extra cash or whatever. So what I do is I take pictures of all the clothing items and then my mom basically uploads the items and she gets them shipped out and she deals with all that. So it's kind of like a little side job for her too, which is super nice. I'll have my Depop account linked down below, but I'm now just gonna do basically a time lapse of me Depopping my clothes, which normally takes me like a few weeks to get through all the clothes, but I'm gonna try to get through quite a few today. See if we can knock it out let's go that was so intense oh my gosh you can see my eye comment down below what color my eye is do i look cross-eyed <laughs> okay so the lighting's kind of weird right now but i just showed my blinds i was going to tell you guys what my setup is i recently got this iphone holder thing it is so nice because then i can just set up my tripod like this and then take my pictures i just put it on self timer i bump up the music maybe listen to a podcast and i just try to knock out as many clothing items as i can so let's get this party started another thing i have to help my depot process is these studio lights it's also nice for filming right now but i just have these to get more of an even tone and like an accurate lighting that way the coloring looks good in my depot photos i don't edit them at all it's just straight up an iphone pic so Depop. So I now basically go airdrop my mom all of the photos, give her all of the clothing, and then from there she lists them, posts them, and gets them sold and shipped off. That is the end of this portion of the video. So Depop, done. Actually, I lied. Depop's not done. I still have to list all these shoes and take pictures of them, but I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow. Um, but all of the clothing is done. Over there's DI. I need to put those winter clothes down in the basement, but then we are good. Voila. Okay. Hi guys. So I am putting my dad to work again. He is now. Employed, uh, right? No. Oh, okay. It's been probably like a week later, but my dad has been working his little booty off. Um, inside the shelf, though, my dad. Let's take down this sign. I'm not seven feet tall. I'm just standing on a stool inside of the closet up here. You guys can see all that death, all that immaculate death that's not being used. Death? Did I just say death? I meant depth. Depth. Depth, like Johnny Depp, but it's depth. Anyway, so my dad is going to build a shelf right above where that black sketchbook is. So just about that height or in the middle, then I'll be able to have double the space from all my books and crap. Do you need help with anything or are you good? Yeah, I need you to tell me, little cutie, where do you want that shelf? Yeah, just like enough for that way I don't feel like I'm squeezing that inside. It's maybe two inches. Awesome, thank you. Yep. If you need any help, let me know. My dad is so sweet and he got this done really, really fast actually. So here's the shelf. Now I can go ahead and put my books up there, put extra stuff, extra clothes, 
And now it just maximizes that space so much more. And I feel like it also makes my closet look bigger because it like brings your eyes up. But I'm just super stoked about it. Looks awesome sauce. It's balanced even everything a girl could hope for on the shelf. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so excited. Hey guys, I don't know why I didn't turn on my bedroom light before because it was like all dark and then I finally fixed that, but I just found one of my old journals. The first journal entry is from April 12th, 2011. It was literally nine years ago. My handwriting was superb. I've been always pretty elite, like it's just always been like that. So. And this is now evidence. Oh my gosh, I forgot about you. Hello everybody. This is, um, what's the girl from 10 Things we, I Hate About You? I was planning on making it like a, a haul almost of like the new items that I got, but I kind of realized that it's gonna take longer than two weeks to rebuild my closet or eventually I'd love to make a video that's like rebuilding my dream wardrobe and it's dedicated to me like finding those pieces instead of trying to rush it. So I did find a few items though and I thought I would show them to you guys. First things first, um, Pride and Prejudice vibes. I wore this dress on Instagram and you guys loved it and I was just so stoked when I found it. But it's basically this midi light blue dress with small dainty pink roses and I just think the color's gorgeous and then at the bottom it has this almost peplum thing going on down here. Okay, next thing, I got this from Depop. And Depop, I've been doing Depop for a while, like I'll post my clothes, but I hadn't really shopped on there until a few weeks ago. And I realized the whole realm that I'd been missing out on because literally there was just so many cool items. What I'm trying to say is basically the shirt that I was wanting to buy was from Big Bud Press. They're a little bit more expensive because they're like ethically made, but I found the same shirt on Depop for cheaper and the quality looked amazing. And the thing I love about Depop is you're supporting someone, like an actual person that maybe needs that money. They're paying rent, you know, people gotta provide for themselves. So I bought this from Depop and it feels great quality. It was super fast shipping and it's based, I think this is called the ugly green shirt, but I love the ugly green color. I think it reminds me of Shrek and I just have a little soft spot in my heart for Shrek. Another thing that I wanted to incorporate while rebuilding my closet is just fun staple pieces that I feel like will spice up any outfit. So, boom baby, look what it be, boy. I don't even know what I just said. Anyway, I, my favorite color is orange. Wait, wait, I just officially declared that. Hey y'all, hey y'all. What color is my hair? Comment down below. Okay, wait, let me get rid of that. Amazing, that light bulb was dead and I just, and that one I shattered cause it got stuck inside of there and then I tried closing the door and it exploded. It was very traumatic for me, but I'm okay, don't worry about it. So in my actual closet, I have right over here to the left, I have all of my dresses and then jumpsuits and this random eagle costume. Let's not talk about that. Long sleeves and sweaters and then jackets. I have my belts. I really like the way the belts are. I feel like they divide the closet well and it also is just super easy for me to choose them out in the morning. And then I have denim jackets, more sweaters, hoodies, and then a random pair of pants. I then have all my hairs over there. I cannot tell you guys how nice it feels to have actual space in my closet. I'm not complaining at all because that's an, it's a wonderful thing to complain about, but it's like my closet was so stuffed that like it was just hard to put anything else in there. And it was hard to even see the actual clothes that I owned because everything was so tightly packed together. So it just looks so much neater and easier to see what I have. And I feel like I genuinely wear all the clothes in this closet pretty often. So then down below, I have this little shoe rack and I have shoes underneath my bed and also right here. So it's like not that big of a deal, but I just have a few pairs of Doc Martens, some sneakers, some church shoes, and then more sneakers and Converse. And then to the left on the floor, I have this box and this just has memories and it's just filled with like a bunch of scrapbooks and pictures and stuff. And so that's nice to just have it out of the way over there. So then going above, and beyond. My dad built a second shelf. I think it looks so good and it just helps to also heighten my closet and it just looks a lot more organized and put together. And I have so much space now, so which is really nice because that just means over time I can build up my book collection and whatnot or do whatever. I have old gearbooks, I have a collage kit, old Polaroids, coloring books. Overall, there is my closet. I feel just so happy about it and it feels really, really good. So there we go. That is it for today. Take it easy. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a fun time watching and got maybe inspired to find new clothes or to de or to declutter. 
Um, if you guys want, you can follow my Depop. I'll have it linked down below. I post on there pretty frequently. And yeah, it's awesome to just also support small. It's also, I just think Depop is so awesome. This isn't sponsored at all. I just think Depop's awesome. So if you guys are trying to find new clothes for a lot cheaper, it's like online thrifting. So how could you go wrong? Okay, well, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Felicia. Bye guys. Take it easy. Not logging off. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> Disgrace. I'm disgraced the human race. Cool, cool. Beans, beans. Cool, cool. Beans, beans. Ancestors protect. Them. They will protect you. Are we ready?